What's good, YouTube? It's your favorite reactor in this building. We're reacting to obviously the most haunted ghost town in the world, man. Let's get it. Let's get right into this shit, man. Not curse, but most importantly, I'm never going to Alabama ever again. Alabama? I actually cannot believe that me and Leslie are here right now. There's one right there! Bodie in Alabama. Oh. This tombstone has my birthday on it, guys. There's someone in there. I told you guys I would do it, and here we are. The video that you've all been waiting for. The most terrifying three days of my whole entire life. I've never felt more in danger and nervous, but I did it. It's done, and now I hope that you guys are ready to see it. A couple weeks ago, I made a video about the three most dangerous places on Earth, and I instructed Go the viewers to comment out. which one they thought was the scariest in which me and my girlfriend would travel to for my next adventure. The place that was chosen was Cahaba, Alabama, the most terrifying, cursed, dangerous place on Earth. Crawling with witches, demons, murderers, kidnappers. It's safe to say that Cahaba was way worse than we were expecting. God. Let's begin this insane Damn. journey. I'm going to be explaining to you guys what's going on throughout this video to keep everything simple and clear for you guys to enjoy. So picking up where we left off in last week's video, we booked the flights to Alabama. We woke up at around 8 a.m. on Friday to start our journey. Are you ready? So you guys can tell like from that duty. short 40 second clip that it was over 10 hours of flying. We finally get to the final airport in Birmingham and guys, it, it's legit empty. To start off the terrifying weekend, there's just nobody there. We get in the Uber with this guy and I ask Terminal. him, hey, do you know anything about Cahaba, Alabama? And he kind of stutters a little bit. Do you know where Cahaba is? Yeah, I mean, Cahaba Heights, it's a, it's, a, it's a ghost town. We talked the whole way to the hotel, and one of the big questions I asked him was, have you ever been there? And he said no, he has never been to Cahaba, Alabama, not only because Cahaba is a terrifying place, but because you have to pass through an area called Selma. He said everybody in Alabama avoids Selma. And I was wondering to myself, hey, we probably won't even be anywhere near Selma, or maybe we'll just drive by it. Let me just tell you, this whole entire video could have been about Selma itself, but we'll get to that later. Leslie and I get to the hotel and we get ready for bed because the next day we have a very long day ahead of us. Guys, we literally just got here. Birmingham, Alabama. I actually cannot believe that me and Leslie are here right now. We're on the like east, east side. It's 1130. We literally east, uh, just landed at like 11 o'clock. Guys, this was the most like hectic trip. We woke up this morning at like 8 a.m. From then, boom, flights after flights after just the worst experience ever. Now we are in Alabama. It's super humid, super hot over here. And we just got horrible news that it's going to rain tomorrow. So me and Leslie have to sleep soon. We got to go rent a car and drive two and a half hours away from Birmingham to Cahaba, Alabama, where we are going to conduct the most terrifying ghost search of all time. So right now me and Leslie are making the decision. If Leslie is going to come to Cahaba tomorrow or if Leslie is going to stay here at the hotel, while I go. I'm so creeped out. Ever since we touched down in Alabama, like you guys see the very empty terminals, the empty airport, like 
It's just so I creepy, bro. Up. It's so creepy over here. Maybe you could stay at the hotel in Kahabob. Okay, we're just, let's, we're gonna go to sleep. Tomorrow's a big day. I love you guys. Good night. So yeah, I had to make a very hard choice, which was if I was going to leave Leslie in Birmingham where it's safer, or if I was going to take her with me through Selma to Cahaba where, where it's a lot more dangerous, where a lot of bad things could happen. I thought about it all night and I got legit three hours of sleep, if that. Now, if that's not bad enough, I woke up to what felt like the worst news of my whole entire life. Prior to booking any hotels or flights or anything, we had contacted Cahaba to make sure me and Leslie were good to go over there and film, in which they agreed. But when I woke up, we got a phone call from one of our contacts. They said that we are no longer able to film in Cahaba and that the whole town was being closed down. When I tell you guys, my heart sank to the bottom of my chest when I heard that news. I, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. They said that there was a potential flood warning projected on the night that me and Leslie were supposed to be in Cahaba. This is due to a storm. I begged, I pleaded with them, they did not care. I checked the weather in Cahaba, it's completely sunny over there. They said that Alabama weather is just so random. Anything could happen at any moment. When we hung up the phone, I was sitting on the edge of the bed. I was literally Damn. feeling like I was about to cry. All the hard work and mainly how I'm gonna tell everyone that the whole video fell apart and that I failed. Then I had an idea. We were scheduled to investigate Cahaba from around 3 o'clock to 10 o'clock p.m. They said that the storm was gonna happen around 7. Even though you don't know for sure when the storm is coming, I still had to take the risk. I called them back and I asked them if there's any way that me and Leslie could just explore it during the day. And surprisingly, they agreed. They said we'd have to be out of Cahaba by 5 o'clock p.m. And we had to sign waivers that they were not responsible for anything that happens to us over there. I was so happy that they allowed us to go. That doesn't change the fact that I was still torn that we couldn't explore it at night. I would do anything to go back and see it at night. But maybe this was a sign from the man upstairs that we weren't meant to be there at night. Maybe something serious could have happened to us and there really was a storm later that night. But I was just happy that we got to go at all. We headed to Cahaba before they could even change their mind. Do the dash there. Put in the comments if you would do some shit like this. Explore fucking Kaaba. Now guys, you need to understand that this was a three hour drive of just broken down uh, homes my... and farms. In all three hours of this drive, oh, we might have seen enemy. maybe six to seven houses. All of them just broken apart. And we might have seen three cars, if that, if, if that. That could be exaggerated three cars. It was Man, the first time like Leslie really and I truly town. felt alone, and it was terrifying. She looked like, get out. We are literally 30 minutes away from Cahaba, Alabama, the ghost town of the world. If you're I from there, let me know if that shit actually tripped we got to the hotel, but I swear to God, we have seen at least seven, like, weird packages on the street that I promise you look exactly like the pictures of the black bags, the cursed bags, and I made my decision. I'm gonna, I'm gonna open one today. I'm gonna touch one no, today. You're not. Yeah, I don't care. No. I don't care. They sent me here. I'm gonna open one and be cursed. I'm gonna no. curse this whole video. I'm gonna curse this whole that's, video by that's opening not it. How it works. Yep. Guys, if we see one more of these bags, I'm gonna We're try my to best curse. to report it. So as you guys could see, Leslie and I are driving down the road, and it's not <gasps> just a regular drive. It's through forests and woods, like I said very scary drive and leslie's recording us not for the video just for our own memories we were recording some stuff on the side just for ourselves to remember that we did this and out of nowhere i see a bag on the road it was a big white bag it looked like it had duct tape all around it and what seemed to be like keychains or little metal circles on the bag so there's one right there i'm i'm making a u-turn no 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 I'm hold on i'm making a u-turn bro this was a white bag this was a white bag, but supposedly any bag of anything, don't touch it. We're actually making a U-turn right there. Cars are coming. There's actually a car. So I make a U-turn. I'm 100% certain that I just saw a cursed bag. But when we got to where the bag was, it wasn't there anymore. But something else was. Get ready. Get ready to record it. Okay. It's going to be right here on the right. Bro, I don't know where it went, dude. I swear to God, I saw it. Oh my God! Did that? you get that on camera, yeah, please? Yeah, did. It's literally a dead crow. 
On my mother's life, I saw a perfect white bag with duct tape all around it and metal object literally strapped to it. And when we drive back, there's a ginormous dead crow in replacement. I really wish that was a joke or that I put that there, but I didn't, obviously. So besides that, we saw a bunch of really weird stuff on the drive, like fires, just straight up fires, I feel big like fires it's in people's crow. backyards. If you guys have ever seen the movie Jeepers Creepers, it was the exact same vibe as that. So now for the weirdest part of the whole drive, staying on the topic of Jeepers Creepers. Leslie and I are driving when a white car comes up from behind me and starts tailgating the hell out of me, driving super close to our bumper. It started honking at us, it almost seemed like it was trying to hit me from behind. So obviously, I pulled over to the side of the road to let it pass, but instead, the car drives past us and stops. It felt super fishy. I felt like we were in danger, so I made a U-turn, and I started driving the opposite way. The car also makes a U-turn. I told Leslie to turn the camera on and record. Now, some of the audio got messed up, but I'm gonna leave subtitles in there to let you guys know what we were saying to each other. Camera real quick? Yeah. Oh, wait. I gotta do it quick. Hold the phone. Alright, baby, drive safe. Where did it dog? Where's my phone at? It's right here. It's underneath us. Now, after that, I pulled over to the side of the road and rolled my window down. I know that sounds dangerous, but it was less risky than this car trying to ram us off the road going 80 miles per hour and our car potentially Some slipping and us and dying fish. for sure. We had no service and our cell phones to call anybody and being stranded there in that middle of that road where there's no houses for miles and miles, we'd be screwed. So I pulled over, rolled my window down and the car just passes by and just keeps driving like nothing happened. Like I said, Jeepers Creepers vibes. If anyone lives in Alabama and knows why anybody might have done this, let me know in the comment section below because I'm still clueless as to why that would happen. Anyways, we continued the drive and we finally got to our next destination. Selma. I'm gonna sell my catalog. Nah. You see, it seems that there has been a lot of misinformation online. Because what I learned is that Cahaba does not have a population of 2,000. Cahaba has a population of zero. Yes, you heard that correctly. Not a single person lived Damn. in Cahaba. The reason Everybody for- Everybody did from that shit. They said, fuck all that shit. We all did that. For that is legit because of the flooding and the witchcraft. I know a lot of people don't believe in witches, but you also haven't lived in Cahaba, Alabama. When everyone fled Cahaba- Put in your comments, do you believe in witches? I feel like Mexico, Mexico is kind of prominent with that shit. So I, I just like to think that they exist, but not. Due to the witches and flooding and the murders and deaths nah, and all that, like, a lot of them went to I Selma, know, Alabama, like which is just 40 minutes from Cahaba. Now people are starting to leave Selma because of the dangerous, dangerous things that are happening there, like the Cahaba Lake murders, which are in Selma, but they kidnap people, take them to Cahaba, torture them and throw them in the river in Cahaba. People blow up buildings to take the spare parts and legit build shelters in Selma. Fucking we only saw one- man, they got TNT in that bitch hospital in Selma and it was completely destroyed when all the windows were broken there were people that. hanging out of the building there was people outside doing drugs it was <laughs> it was insane a four-year-old girl named cupcake was just recently murdered they cut her limbs off and put her in a garbage four can in Selma which we didn't know until we had just gone to our hotel okay guys well we are in the hotel room right now first of all this light over here doesn't even work it's crazy that like in other parts of the United States it's like more fucked up than others. Second of all, we got the room with the balcony overseeing the the river. How is the whole and, uh, city we open the window. Just we have a nice view of I don't know what this is. So I went to the front desk to ask and they're like, Yeah, sorry, that's what that we shit. do. Like we don't have that room. I'm like, okay. But we are about to go to Cahaba right now. I just uploaded my video. People are loving it. They're excited to see this video, so 
Let's go get some content. We left the Cahaba and my heart was racing. Racing because I didn't know what me and Leslie were getting ourselves into. Racing because I didn't know if we were going to make it out alive. Racing because people fled this town for a reason. As soon as we get there, we're met by a car that opens the gates for us and lets us in. They close the gate behind us and we had just a few hours to explore this whole town. And our time starts now. We made it. Dude. Right away, bro. Look at this house. Okay guys, we are finally here after like a whole day and a half of traveling, sleeping in hotels, driving like three and a half hours. We're finally here. We are in Old Cahaba, the you, most haunted ghost town in the thing. whole world. So this whole area is actually like a historic area. So we had to get permission just to film here. And we're allowed to film, but we're not allowed to be here at night. We're going to be exploring this during the day, but it's still going to be just as creepy. Starting with this church right here that is just absolutely terrible. Ready. Damn, that shit do look old as fuck. Unless it's just like broken down or some shit. So guys, apparently there was something around this area. I don't think it was this church in specific, but it was in this area where in the early 1900s, a pastor came into his church at night and found a group of women dressed in all black clothing having like a spiritual like ritual type of thing in the church it, apparently it's just a known thing here in Cahaba that there's witches I feel like I'm gonna pass out right now I know it's so hot there's like face, yeah there's like no air you should've got the there's nine really no air here guys it is like 200 degrees right now but we have some ghost hey guys so we're gonna start uh, I'll box with that shit. the uh. pod if you guys don't know how that works, I'll spark up in there. On. Anything Look that like goes a good near spot it of smoke. is gonna set it off. Okay, guys. So first, I want to ask some questions and see if any of the spirits that you. I used to want to do shit here. like that, but I kind of just grew out of it. That would like to contact us or are okay with speaking to us, please make yourself known by touching that red device. I still want to get that one shit. If you are here, please make yourself known. I don't know what it's called. If there were any witches that held some kind of spiritual meeting here, please go near that REM pod over there. I just felt like something was behind me. Try something else. Is everybody hot? Yeah. Okay, go outside. Sure. Yeah. Okay, guys. So I actually just found out a new method of um, getting answers from spirits. It's not the Ouija board. It's similar, but it's not the Ouija board. And I figured if I'm coming all the way to Alabama, I might as well go the distance. Right here we have a crystal, and right here we have a circular board. Answers on it. We have yes, no, maybe, and unknown. I mean, you guys could see how sweaty I am right now. It's so hot. Okay, ready? Mm -hmm. Any spirits out there that are listening, witches, I have a circular board here and a crystal. All you have to do is answer my question by making my crystal go back and forth to one of the answers. I'm going to leave the crystal completely straight and you guys will answer. Is there any spirits out here that would like to contact us? I heard something. As you guys can see, I'm keeping my hand completely straight. Is the spirit we are in contact with a witch? Show my hand. Am I moving my hand at all? No. Did you ever curse anyone? Get overhead? What's it saying? Say maybe. Dude, look at my hand. Are you a good spirit? No. Okay. Did your curse cause someone to die? Okay. So you've killed someone. 
I'm gonna say goodbye. Okay, there's a lot more to Cahaba, so let's go explore the rest and let's get out of here. So as you guys could see, we were in possible contact with a witch. I tried the crystal and the board method at home without asking any questions and the crystal did not move at all. It only answered one of my questions at home and I wasn't even sure if it was right or wrong, but I asked a bunch of questions. The crystal did not move at all, but I decided to bring it anyways and it ended up moving here. There's no explanation for that. You guys could see my hand. I obviously wasn't moving it. It was just super creepy. That scared Leslie and I enough to leave the church and go explore some more. We drove around to see what other buildings we could find and we find this abandoned, what seemed like an abandoned classroom. Okay. Now we drive up and I hear Leslie say, I could have sworn I saw somebody walk out of the classroom. Oh my God. Okay, I'm not gonna scare you, but through the lens, I saw someone walk out of the entrance and nobody was there. But through the lens, I could have sworn I saw a woman walk out. I kind of brushed it off because I was focused on just getting in there. But then when I watched the footage last night, it gave me the chills all over my body as you could exactly see somebody walking out of the classroom when we drove up. If I had seen that, I definitely would not have gone in. And what I did in there is going to make you mad because you just saw maybe a figure in there and I went in there and disturbed the peace. Bro, that is so creepy, dude. Let's go. Guys, when I tell you guys how creepy this place is, like there's no one here, no roads here, no one lives here. Hello, hello. No one lives here. We are just completely by ourselves. Dude, these are just crazy. How are these still here? That was for sure a witch, man. That shit looks scary as fuck. Oh my God. Okay, look, there's even like a little stand right here. Oh, hell no. What? Do a concert, Kabaha. Y'all let me know. We're finna pull up. We're finna do it right here. I had it in here, bro. Here. It's an attic. Guys, there's an actual attic in here. Oh my god, there could be anything up there. Babe, come here. I'm gonna pick you up. No, all you have to do is just put your hand through this. Yeah, so it could get snatched by a monster. No, it won't. It won't, babe. I can almost reach. Me. You're I'm good. scared. Just look at me. You're good. Just look at me <laughs> and put your hand straight up. Just put your hand. I just got oh one shit from down. where the wind was in here. Are you okay? I heard something as soon as I stuck my hand up there. I have my recording device right here. It's gonna pick up any noises. And when I get home in a couple days, I'm gonna be looking at all this or listening to all this footage on here and see if we get any voices or any responses to what we're talking about. If there's any spirits out there that would like to contact us, please go. Damn, right away. Please stop doing that. Please stop doing that to the REM pod. Mm -hmm. I know. Right there, playing with that shit. <laughs> this stuff actually picks me up. Whoever was making the REM pod make that noise, please go and do it again. Okay, if there's any spirits living in that hole right there, please go down and make that rent. Okay, go to the car. Oh my God. What is that noise, bro? Bro, what the? Now we are going to the cemetery, which has real people from the 18, 1900s buried there. All right guys, so Leslie is not coming down for this one. Okay, let's just do this. Let's just get this freaking over with. Dude, oh my God, I'm so scared right now. It's just, it's terrifying. Cause there's nobody to like help us if anything happens or. Oh, oh, 
Oh no way. Bro, wait, 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 wait. The tombs are outside? Oh sh the the tombs are these are these what I think they are? Why are they outside? Dude, I swear to god, I keep on seeing things. Bro, this is so creepy. I cannot believe we're here right now. There's no one here. It is an actual ghost town. There's nobody here. This is, man, to think that one day we're gonna be in one of these, just underground. Let's get this REM pod down somewhere. I say maybe right here would be. Oh no way, dude. Oh my God. Out of everything that, bro, out of everything that I picked, out of all the tombs here, this tombstone has my birthday on it, guys. Oh my God, look at that. October 6th. I was born in October 6th of 1999, and that tombstone literally says October 6th on it. Holy sh! I swear I did not plan that. Damn, okay, what a now this is the first instance where I felt like we were truly being watched. And make sure you keep this in the back of your mind because a lot of weird things happened, stalker wise, that led me and Leslie to literally flee Alabama. We changed our flights, we left as soon as possible after all these things happened. And it all started here at the cemetery. If there's any spirits here in the cemetery, please go up to that REM pod and make it go off. I'm gonna demonstrate how to do that. If you would like. Dude. Okay, there's someone in there. Okay, there's literally somebody right there looking right at me. Yo! There's someone looking right at me right there and he thinks he's hiding behind like that tree right there. Literally right, yo! Someone is looking at me and they turned behind that tree right when I looked. Like them. This is. I knew I was seeing something. Are they telling me? Go okay, I'm leaving. I am leaving. Nope. I really hope I got that on camera. I really hope I got that on camera. Somebody. Somebody is literally watching me, in a cemetery. Ah, bro, see me. So, all right, I'm not in San Diego. I'm in Alabama. I don't know this shit. area. There's no one here. This is an actual ghost town. Like, as in zero people live here. I'm not gonna press the issue because I'm not in San Diego. Damn, you should have at least film them at least. Someone's looking at me. Huh? As I was trying to speak to spirits the through town. the REM pod, I heard something behind me and I turned around and I see a man, a very tall man, staring at me. Oh, and when like I turn six, around six to look at him, I'm he tries there to too. hide behind I'm, a tree. Now I tried to get this on camera, but Bro, unfortunately I didn't capture six, him six, because he was I'm hiding. Up. But mind you, we are alone in this town. There is nobody, no, not a single person with us. Within miles and miles, we are by ourselves in this town. So I wasn't done just yet. I told myself I did not come all the way to Alabama to end the video really there. Abandoned. I wanted to explore one more house. A house that we passed by on the way to the cemetery. We went back to it. It was gated off. It had like, do not enter, danger, do not enter, all around it. And I entered. Danger, keep out. So we're guessing this is like an abandoned house. But like, it says keep out for a reason. Sam and Kobe should go ahead. That is creepy. Get to this to fifteen thousand like and, and I'll go to fucking Kaba and smoke a fat dude. Now I climbed up some stairs and went up to the door thinking that if I pushed it hard enough, the wood was old enough to where it would break. But something else happened when I pushed the door instead, and it scared the absolute hell out of us. I'm gonna see if that's actually right. Dude, this thing is gonna fall, man. You should have liked that pink it's trap really house. Two chains. I think it's called. But I should got a lock. But it should look like Resident Evil. Oh, 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 oh Resident my Evil god, Leslie. Oh, holy sh Tell me I got that on camera. Tell me I got that on camera, please. 
Guys, an owl. That was the first time I ever seen an owl in real life. But I didn't make a resident evil movie like that. Let's go. It was all white, bro. No way. Dude, that is that cannot be good luck. Easy money, bro. If they made that shit. Oh shit. I'm gonna get a check. Carrying well. Oh my god, we're going to the well, dude. Where's the well? Oh, I see it. Oh my god. That is creepy. Okay. The way that I feel right now is like there's someone like on my ass, bro. There's at least someone just watching us. Okay, guys, so. Holy. Stop. I swear. Bro. I swear there was something right there. I'm not even kidding. Okay, guys, so I heard about this well, the Cahaba oh, well. Zone. I'm not gonna. Dude, oh my god. I heard stories about little kids being scared and running this way into the well and jumping in it because they weren't taught that it's very deep. Getting trapped in there and dying down there. I don't know if there is still bodies down there. There's only one way to find out. Bodies? Oh my god. Okay guys, so the well was a It's that one scary movie with a well. Over here, but I guess they covered it up. No well. At that point, we had been exploring for about three hours, and Leslie and I made the decision that we were gonna leave. We were sweating, we're out of water, and it was nearing sundown. On top of that, I was still worried about the guy at the cemetery. Now, at that moment, I'm thinking this is perfect. I got the footage I needed. We're gonna go to sleep and fly out tomorrow afternoon. But the most strangest, weirdest thing happened. We drove back to Selma, where our hotel was. We recorded some creepy buildings, like yeah, I feel like this should be more scary in the night, in the morning, and also and a motel that I like wanted a, to explore really quick. Abandoned town and shit. Guys, I, I want to show you guys this, like, I don't know what it is, like a motel center or something. I mean, guys, these are motels. Sure like that I'm going to try to go in that Ozark. room over there. That looks kind of scary. So I don't want to leave Leslie by herself for too long. I just feel like there's a gun being aimed at me right now. No, it looks like that Universal Studios so shit. So creepy, dude. No cap. That Universal Studios fucking motel shit. Kick the door down, kick the door down. Someone is literally staring at me. No, there's multiple people staring at me through the windows. Oh my god, this whole town just creeps me the f They out, think he the feds. Can't wait to get out of here, dude. This is so creepy, bro. Who would stay here, man? Holy shit. Dude, I feel like I'm being watched at every turn, and I'm not even a paranoid person at all. I hate this. So as I was Feel walking like out, there was legit a man in a window staring at me. Very, very far away, like in the renting office spot. There's a man holding the blinds open in the renting office just looking right at me. I'm thinking, okay, I'm in the middle of this motel. I'm recording myself. It, it, I look like a weird person right now. Anybody would be looking at me. But wait till you see what happens next. It turns out that not only were we being watched, somebody was in our hotel room while we were out exploring Selma. Guys, so we literally just got back to the room right now, and let's just say Damn. Leslie is calling. Leslie is calling Expedia to see if there's any flights to leave back to San Diego right now because we got a call from the front desk saying that if we continue to be loud, we're gonna be kicked out of the hotel. I said you guys have a misunderstanding. We we're not. We weren't here the past three, four hours. We we were out. We just got, like, guys, like, I literally just put all my stuff down. We just got back. They told us that they came to our door and that we were being loud in the room and they were banging on the door trying to get us to come out and that nobody was coming out, but that somebody was in here, like, screaming or yelling or talking really loud. We weren't here. We, we literally were not here. And we told them and they're just saying that we're lying. Like, we're, we were literally not here. So I think, I'm pretty sure we're getting kicked out right now. You guys, this place is weird like i'm literally gonna go off but like you guys don't know what was happening when me and leslie were driving some dude got out of his car and ran up to leslie's window they're like flagging my car down you want to go yeah, I want to stay here. I just don't feel safe. guys i literally just keep feeling like vulnerable like something's just gonna happen that's like i don't i hate I'm feeling like i'm vulnerable right now if any bad bitch is trying to hit me up don't have control of a situation right now i feel like i don't have any control over this situation so we're like we're leaving 
So Leslie and I left the hotel, not waiting to see who was going to come and kick us out. We were looking for flights to leave, but we were still three hours away from the airport and all the flights were leaving in an hour. So we had no choice but to stay in Cahaba for one more night. We could have driven back to Birmingham, but it was about to turn night and that's a three hour drive at night where I just got ran off the road by a car. I was not going to risk that happening again, especially at night where that's certain death. So I decided that me and Leslie would stay the night in Cahaba. We booked another hotel, got there, left our stuff, and went to sleep. But this wasn't the end, because at 4.30 in the morning, I woke up to a very weird noise. Not mommy, wait, not mommy. That shit had to be loud for him to wake up too, no cap. The shining shit. No way somebody fucking ding Now, I don't know like what that, that was, time. but as you can see, for the majority of our trip, we were being watched from a distance, from up close. We were being stalked. People were aware that we were there, and they were watching us, trying to get to us. Now, I don't know if it's because I had my big camera or all the bags. I was not wearing flashy clothing. I was wearing very regular clothes. I wasn't wearing chains. I wasn't wearing jewelry, nothing. But for some reason, the people in Cahaba were very interested in me and Leslie. I don't know if they saw the video. I don't know what it was. It was very weird. Well, guys, it's the morning right now. And after that weird, weird night, we're leaving. Our flight got delayed until like 9 p.m. So um, we had to like look for other flights because we're just trying to get out of here. We're in like a super, super shady area. And like, yeah, this was a mistake. I got what I needed. I got the footage I needed. I'm not putting me or my girlfriend's life at risk no more. So we're literally leaving. Like, this is the end. We finally got a flight back to San Diego, and right when we got home, I filmed myself. You can clearly see how happy I am that we made it out alive. I'm gonna show you guys where I'm at right now. <laughs> when I tell you guys, this is no exaggeration. This is like the happiest I've ever been in my life. I, I'm gonna <laughs> kiss the floor. Bro, it's not fucking with like, Alabama. I'm so grateful. For my life I, we made it back safe <laughs> i don't think you guys under like i don't even think this video does it justice of like what we experienced in alabama i feel like it was a dream i feel like i wasn't even able to film correctly because of how like i was in just protection mode of leslie of myself of our lives like guys the things that happened in cahaba were some of the most terrifying yeah, things that have ever happened to me in my life and, and i've been through like, a lot this is like life literally life. in the top two and it's not two. Every i'm, I'm so shit. grateful right now like i'm thinking uh, like i'm just so big. happy it's a whole i'm not mad city. that i went i'm not whole mad that nobody abandoned. commented Damn. that I'm, I'm just happy i went i'm happy i got it over with i have my girlfriend sound asleep in the room I just put her to bed. I got her home safely in one piece. <laughs> it's it's a great feeling that we, we escaped. Like, guys, like, do you guys realize what was happening to us in that hotel room? We were being followed from hotel to hotel. I don't know why. I don't... We weren't in a tourist area. We were not in a tourist area. We were in the streets. That whole time <laughs> we were filming, we had no Dude. service. In the middle of nowhere with nobody around us to help or nothing. I was in like survival mode. Then we get to the hotel. People are banging on our door like we couldn't get flights to get out. We almost missed our flight out and we would have been trapped in Cahaba for another three days. Guys, again, thank you, God. Thank you, Earth. Thank you, San Diego. I love San Diego. I'm just going to say this. I will never move out from San Diego. I will never move away from this beautiful 
beautiful place that I call home. I'll be kissing the floor of everywhere I go. I'm going to go to all the crackheads I see. I'm going to kiss them on their forehead. I'm going to caress their heads. I'm going to lay on the street with them and just tell them what happened to me in Alabama. I, I love every i love life this is a like a life-changing thing that just happened to me. again i'm so happy we made it out alive if you did enjoy this video it's been your boy sherman and i'm out peace man, he did capture like a fucking little movie and shit though if y'all want to see more vids like this on the scary side let me know in the fuck